Ibn Umar, one, Alhamdulillah, if Fazlullah Ta'ala, I remember, his servant, he said, I was with Abdullah Ibn Umar. And remember, I told you how important he is in Hajj. That even the Muslim rulers, even the toughest Muslim rulers followed him. How he does the Hajj. His slave, not slave like you know slaves in America, servant, worker. He said, I did Hajj with son of Umar, Abdullah. Abdullah. He says, everywhere he went, he did one dua. Which is the dua of Arafah. Okay. Which this is the dua of day of Arafah and it's a dua. He said he did it all over the Hajj. Okay. And Prophet told us that prophets of Allah before me also have said this dua, which is very simple. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la, lahul mulk wa lahul hamd wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. He says, Afdalu ma qultu ana wa anbiya'u qabli. On the day of Arafah, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadeer. This, his servant said, everywhere I went with him, everywhere, he was making this dua. Don't forget this one dua. Everywhere, in Hajj, wherever you are, this is dua. It looks like just praise of Allah, but actually it's a dua hidden. <coughs> Your dua will be accepted more inshallah with that because Prophet said, me and the prophets of Allah before me. You know prophets have done hajj. Ibrahim has done hajj. Musa has done hajj. Isa will do hajj, Prophet said. So do this dua that Prophet said that it's khayru ma qultu ana wa anbiya'u qabli. Another uh, tariq. So number one. Number two, don't forget Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adab al 201 or 202 of Baqarah. Between Rukun Yamani and Hajar al-Aswad. And anywhere in Hajj. Number three, don't forget, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Wa la ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar. Don't forget that, please. Because after Quran, this is Ahabbul Kalami ilallah, these four kalimat. After Quran. And how many have said, La ilaha illallah, Rabbana atina, uh, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah. Number four, when you pass Mizab al rahma you know that Mizab, I don't know what English what you call it, the, the, where the water falls from the roof of Kaaba. What would be Mizab in English? Uh, like a, not, not a gutter, I don't want to use the word gutter, but it's like a water gutter, but it's, they call it the Mizab, the gutter of mercy, because water coming from the roof of Kaaba. When uh, Zainul Abidin used to pass by, that he used to make a very special dua. Allahumma inni as'aluka rahata inda al maut wal afwi inda al hisab. Imam Zainul Abidin made that dua. And when he got in the hatim, he said, Oh Allah, I am ubaiduka bi fanaik, bi finaik, wa faqiruka bi finaik, wa muhtajuka bi finaik, wa miskinuka bi finaik. Fina means in your area. So these are some of the special duas. And don't forget dua. On the day of Arafah and the, that La ilaha illallah and many other du'as with it. Just keep doing du'a and pray for the whole ummah. This is the day you should not even think your du'a will not be accepted. And always make general du'as. Khair for dunya and akhirah. Khair, barakah, you know, salawat on Prophet. Start your du'a with salawat on Prophet. End your du'a with salawat on Prophet. Allah will be happy with you on that. Your du'a will be accepted more. And, and you know, don't worry about these books where there's dua for first circuit, second circuit, third circuit. There's too many duas that make things complicated. You are free to make any other duas. Any dua you like. These are the ones that are more famous between Rasulullah and Sahaba and Ahl uh, family of Rasulullah. Yes, any last.